The electric field strength is defined as the force per unit positive charge acting on a stationary point charge, E equals F over Q. In this lesson video, I'm going to go through a couple of ways to prove that E equals V over D as well. Now, if you haven't already tried yourself to prove that E equals V over D, then please, please, please stop, have a go at it, because that's how you're going to learn how to do this sort of thing, by trying and then building on your knowledge. So if you're still watching and gave it a go but you got stuck, here's a hint. Recall two equations for the same quantity, one for mechanics, one for electricity, and you'll have learned these equations at GCSE. So write out a few things, but you'll find that not that many equations relate to both topics, okay? Something relating to mechanics, something relating to electricity. Stop the video, have another think. So if you're still here, you're either totally stuck or you just want to check how I do it. The two equations I was referring to are for work done. In mechanics, W equals force times distance. In electricity, W equals power times time, which equals VIT. So I've got FD equals VIT, which doesn't look great, except we do at least have force but there's no charge here yet. The trick with these is sometimes simply keep going, hoping that something will cancel out later or become clearer. If you think, if you, think you can't do it, you'll prove yourself right. So rearrange to F equals VIT over D. Then put it into the defining equation for electric field strength. So E equals F over Q becomes E equals VIT over DQ. Since Q equals IT, we get E equals VQ over DQ. So cancelling out those Qs, we get E equals V over D. So to prove this, I use my memory bank of formulas to find that, find two. <clears throat> so to prove this, I use my memory bank of formulas to find two that could link force and voltage. How did I know where to start? Well, you don't really know, but you know that you've got F and Q at the start and you need to change them into V and D. So let's think about another way of doing this. From mechanics, F and D seem to be related. The equation W equals FD should jump out at you if you've written things out like this. From electricity, Q and V seem to be related. Now you might start thinking about V equals IR. So V equals IR equals QR over T. But doing this, we're introducing something totally unrelated, resistance. So that seems unlikely to help. P equals VI equals VQ over T looks better. Power might seem unrelated, but we've already considered W above, so let's change it to E equals VIT equals VQT over T. Cancelling out, E equals VQ. And suddenly things are looking brighter. Let's say W equals E, which is perfectly reasonable as they are both energy. So, FD equals VQ, or F over Q equals V over D. And suddenly we have an answer. We've shown almost by accident that E equals F over Q equals V over D. So there you have two ways of approaching the problem. The key thing is, even if you're not really sure how to approach it, Get something down on paper, because once something is there, your brain is going to be able to access it in different ways, and it's going to help your brain to work much more effectively at solving the problem.